There was a bloodless coup today in Nigeria, which is black Africa's biggest and richest nation and the world's eighth largest oil producer. The overthrow of strongman Major General Yakabu Goan reportedly was engineered by the head of his personal bodyguards. Goan received word of the coup while at a meeting of the Organization of African Unity in Uganda. He would say only, there's nothing to worry about. Goan, who led a 1966 military coup and put down the bloody Biafran civil war six years ago, had been confronted by growing student and labor unrest and charges of government corruption. Last October, he went back on a pledge to restore civilian rule in Nigeria next year. I, Brigadier Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, being appointed a member of the Supreme Military Council, swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as shall be debated in the council, in the said council and committed to my secrecy. So help me God. I, Captain Olufemi Olumide, being appointed a member of the Supreme Military Council, swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as shall be debated in the said council and committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Once Fellow Nigerians, events of the past few years have indicated that despite our great human and material resources, the government has not been able to fulfill the legitimate expectations of our people. Nigeria has been left to drift. This situation if not arrested, would inevitably have resulted in chaos and even bloodshed. In the endeavor to build a strong, united and virile nation, Nigerians have shed much blood. The thought of further bloodshed, for whatever reasons, must, I'm sure, be revolting to our people.